This old department store in the Arctic might be the most important building in America's fight for technological dominance. Let me explain. Right after getting elected, Trump said it bluntly. We need Greenland, very importantly for national security. It's not whether we can do it without it. We can't. Why? Three words. Rare earth minerals. These seemingly ordinary rocks are the foundation of our most advanced technologies. From F-35 fighter jets to smartphones. Here's the problem. China controls 70% of global rare earth production and processes 90% of the world's supply. So when Trump launched new tariffs on China this year, China didn't sit back. They hit back, restricting exports of seven critical rare earth elements. Without these minerals, America's defense and tech industries grind to a halt. Just one F-35 fighter jet requires over 900 pounds of rare earths. A submarine, over 9,000 pounds. Simply, without rare earths, the US military cannot function. But there's one place that might break China's monopoly, Greenland. Greenland holds some of the world's largest untapped reserves of rare earth minerals. And that's why the US is suddenly very interested in this Arctic island. Back in 2020, Trump quietly reopened the consulate in Greenland after being closed for nearly 70 years, being housed in this tiny red shack. They're moving into a massive 3,000 square meter building downtown in the capital of Nuuk complete with bulletproof windows, armored glass, and space for dozens of personnel. And experts say it's not just diplomats headed there. Intelligence agents are likely on their way. And their mission? To take over Greenland and turn it into America's rare earth super base. Because this isn't just about minerals. It's about controlling the future of AI, green energy, military tech, and the future of global power itself.